Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video, it's me really here and today I'm gonna be explaining a topic that I've been thinking about uh, and the topic is why word locks are useless, okay? You might be wondering what, what the heck really, what are you thinking about, like what are you talking about? Word locks are useful, okay? No, they're useless, okay? Word locks are useless, diamond locks are useless, uh, they only have one, like uh, one real reason is to buy from vending machines I guess and buy items and worlds which is the reason why you should not have word locks okay but before I start I want you all to check out my Instagram it's really.gt and join the discord group down below okay so I'm gonna explain to you why these five dom locks are literally useless okay so first of all five dom locks you can do quite a lot with five dom locks to be to be honest okay um, but in general these five diamond locks will not earn you anything if they are in your inventory so uh, if I just had these diamond locks laying around you know just chilling in my world uh, they wouldn't do, do anything they wouldn't earn me a single word lock never ever they would never be profitable and they are therefore quite useless to be honest so what I mean by that word locks are use useless and that you should definitely not have word locks just laying around is that uh, word locks when you have them they're not gonna change in price the word lock is the currency and they will never change price but if you let's say for example buy a uh, Raymond's fist for the diamond locks you have well that's that's a completely different thing because now you have an item which will change in price so if you spend your diamond locks to buy an item, that item is gonna change in price. Either you're gonna lose on it, or you're gonna profit on it. So, that's over to the next topic. What you should spend your word locks on. Because honestly, having word locks around is not just something you want, okay? You might have like a few word locks in case you find out that you wanna buy something. But just having word locks around is not really useful you know so definitely you should know some things to spend them on so first of all uh, I will give you a little tip and a little list on things you can uh, buy uh, with your word locks to earn word locks or if you're unlucky you might lose but you know there's always a risk of losing word locks if not you're doing like a safe profiting method you know it's like gambling if you buy Raven Fist, you never know, it might drop, it might rise, you never know, but but there are things you can look for to be a little bit more safe. For example, this Rayman right here, I, I can tell for sure it's not gonna drop uh, down than less than like what I bought it for, because I know it's useful, and I know why it rise, rise in price, because it's super useful, it's never coming back, and therefore it's gonna rise. Another item which is really good is the speed medallion. Speed medallion gives you more speed, very useful for harvesting, especially with the Rayman with like knee and nerves and stuff. Uh, definitely a really good item to invest in the speed medallion. In Together with that, it was an item of the month. So the item of the month usually have a tendency to rise a lot if they are useful. So definitely keep an eye open on item of the month in case they are gonna rise. The second, the second thing, the second thing I would suggest you spending your word locks on is farmables, okay? Hey, really, I hate farming, why do you want me to buy farmables? Hey man, I know it's painful, but it, it will pay off, okay? Buying farmables is a lot better than just having word locks sitting around, okay? Trust me. And you know, I have a BFG called Never Empty, check it out, it's open almost all the time. I try my best to stock all the time and I would say that investing in farmables and supplying farmables there is definitely a good way to profit. So why is farmables so good? Well I'm gonna tell you because uh, when you harvest farmables you're gonna get gems, you're gonna get seed profit and there's no loss, you're not gonna lose anything if not you're farming like magic bells 
which is a really new farmable, it's expensive, and it might drop in price. But like a safe farmable like peppers and chandeliers, definitely worth it spending your word locks on if you just have a few diamond locks laying around. I would say if you have from everything from let's say 20 word locks to uh, 10 diamond locks, I would go for peppers. And if you have from 10 diamond locks to 50 diamond locks or more, if you want to take it to an extreme level, I would go for chandeliers. Okay, third on the list uh, is events. You can also spend word locks on events. Uh, I mean, it's not very profitable, but you have some events, for example, Harvest Fest, uh, where you get from farmables, you get mooncakes, which will give you then uh, a lot of profit. So guys, what I'm trying to say is that if you have a hundred word locks laying around, that hundred word lock will not earn you anything, no matter what, okay? If you have a good reason for that to be false, then tell me down below. But I'm pretty sure those hundred word locks will not make you any word locks. My suggestion to you is spend your word locks, okay? Spend them on mass producing, spend them on farming, like, like farmables, spend them on a BFG, spend them on uh, items that's gonna rise but that's investing it's a little bit difficult to understand market and like demand and supply and all that so i would suggest you if you want a video about investing please tell me because i can make one and i can try my best to explain uh like market and demand and supply on in the best way and the easiest way so if you want me to make a investing tutorial or investing guides then Please tell me down below because I could make that. Definitely buy items that you think will rise. Uh, for example, mag plants are rising very, very, like a lot now. So you should definitely uh, try to get on the train there. But you never know. It might be risky, you know. You just It's gambling. Investing is gambling. It's a little bit risky. But big risk, big profit sometimes, big loss sometimes. You know, you know the drill. So... But that was basically everything I wanted to cover this video. I just wanted to tell you guys that don't let your word locks just sit there. Try to spend them on either farmables, invest them in some rising items, and just buy a world. Buy a world with a quite rare name or something like that. It's, it's better than just having your word locks sitting around. Plus, you get some experience. Experience is always nice. Stay safe. And if you have any questions, just ask me down below. And if you want more videos on my channel, leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you'll be notified next time. Alright, anyways, it's me, Really GT, signing out, and I'll see you in the next one.